Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to review my favorite poetry book of all time and that is Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. Peppernell? Yes, I think that's how you say her last name. Um, she is an LGBT um, plus poet and you can definitely tell that from her poetry. Um, I just... I picked this up on a whim. I was having a bad day. I decided to stop at Barnes & Noble, even though I'd gone to Barnes & Noble the day before, and I did kind of share this story on my Instagram stories. So if you're interested in me hauling books, like, from time to time, definitely check me out there. Um, but yeah, I was having kind of like a down day. I was in a bad kind of like mood and headspace, and poetry is something that I can always like reach for to kind of like make me feel not alone because a lot of people experience the same thoughts maybe in a different way but you kind of felt understood and just like you're not alone so i went to barnes and noble and i didn't know what i was going to get but i saw this and another poetry collection and i picked the other one up because it had been on my wish list but this one i had never heard of or anything like that i've never like read anything by this poet slash author before because she does write novels as well but um, I saw the cover and it absolutely drew me in and I flipped to a page at random and I read it and I was like, yes, I think this is something that I will really enjoy. And it's contemporary poetry. Um, they're pretty short and there are 10 different sections and um, it kind of says like, read these when you need them. And it's if you're dreaming of someone, if you're in love, if you're heartbroken, if you're lonely, if you're sad. If you're missing someone, if you need encouragement, if you're soul searching, if you need a reason to stay and just these are for you. And I felt completely like not 100% better, but I felt like I can do this. I can make it past this point. Time is going to heal and I kind of did soul searching, but that's basically where I started it. I started it with the soul searching part and I loved it. I think it was like the very first one. No, okay, so yes, here's where I started. If you're soul searching and it has this cute little, like every little section has this like jellyfish with like a little like illustration and I just love this one. Um, so the first poem that I read I was like, I know this is going to be a good one because it's literally two lines and it just, I was like, if I'm going to get something tattooed on my body that's like from a book, this would be it. It says, you are a battlefield. Never will there be a greater war than the one you hold with yourself. And at the moment and the things that I was going through and even now, those words are just so powerful to me. And I'm like, yes, yes, you are a battlefield and like you are your harshest critic and you know, you judge yourself harder than anybody else ever possibly could. And I just felt so understood. Went to the next poem, ended up tabbing it too. Um, I wanted, again, to tab every single thing in this book, but I tabbed the ones that were my absolute favorite because those are the ones that I am more recently going to need to turn back to. Um, I did also dog ear this um, poetry collection as well. So even though there's only like a few tabs, there are other things that are tabbed as well. They're kind of just dog eared. But I read the, um, if you're soul searching, and then I read, um, maybe these are for you. I read if you're sad, and I read if you are heartbroken. And because every section that I went to, I was just like, yes, 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 give me more. Um, I decided, okay, I'm starting at the beginning. So I started at the beginning and read to the very end and it was so powerful. I just, I can't put it into words like how much this came to me at like the perfect time. And I think that's what poetry is to me. It's something that speaks to you in the moment. And I just, I needed it. I wanted it. It's beautiful. It, it's not like too, um, like over the top it's not too vague it's not too um you know like poetic it's it's very like heartfelt it's very um straightforward you can interpret it different ways um obviously just from the vague like different sections um but it's so good i highly recommend it um and then it was so funny because like i said i picked this up on a whim i had like no idea that this was like 
super popular, that she was like on tour and you know, things like that. But then I started following her, her on Twitter and Instagram and I just, I just found out like this morning that she has Pillow Talks, Pillow Thoughts, two coming out this summer and I can't wait and it's still like the jellyfish theme and I just oh I love it um it kind of introduces that and it um it says before we begin I'd like to share a story once upon a time there was a jellyfish we'll call it you you became lost sometimes you could be a little unsure you tried very hard but sometimes it didn't feel like enough I hate to spoil the ending but you was fine you is still here. You is going to make it. Whew. I could get emotional just reading that. There's so many things in here that spoke to me. Um, I just don't even know which ones I want to read to you because they're all so good. Titled, they're just in those different sections. Um, this one is, you've become so damaged that when someone wants to give you what you deserve, you have no idea how to respond. Oh my gosh, so true, right? Okay, this one is a little bit longer. Let's see, let's try to find another one. Okay, this one, okay, here's a good one. I hope you find someone who never makes you question your own self-worth. I hope you find someone who chases your happiness as much as their own. I hope you find someone who supports you in the things you are passionate about. I hope you find someone whom you can laugh with and sit in silence with and share your deepest secrets with. I hope you find someone who is your lover, your partner, and your friend. I hope you find someone who treats you as their equal, who learns and grows with you and beside you. I hope you find someone who appreciates all the tiny details that make, make up who you are. I hope you find someone who respects your heart, your family, and your values. I hope you find someone who reminds you that you deserve the love you give. And I just think that's super great and super awesome. And I do wish that for everybody because I have definitely found that person and I hope everybody else does as well. Um, like I said, so many great things in here. If you're into poetry, if you're not into poetry, if you want something to start with, start with Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Pepperdell. So great. Loved it. Five out of five stars. Highly recommend. Um, poetry newbies, people that have been reading poetry forever, definitely give it a shot. But that's all I can really say about it. I think for now, I'm definitely going to be picking up Pillow Thoughts 2 this summer and reading it right away. I read this in one sitting. It goes very quickly because they're fairly short. Most of them are fairly short, but some of them are a little bit longer. Um, love the design. Love everything about it. Um, yeah, it was blurbed by the Chain Smokers, and it says, as songwriters, poetry has always played a special role in our lives. We discovered Pillow Thoughts, and it has been one of the most enjoyable, enjoyable books we have read in a long time. So it's a collection of poetry and prose about heartbreak, love, and raw emotions. It's divided into sections to read when you feel you need them most. Make a cup of tea and let yourself feel. Oh, gosh. I mean, just come on. But that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Bye.